to politics south of the border now, where the Republican National Convention is set to start tomorrow and protesters are already gathering near the site. President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence are expected to be officially nominated onto the GOP ticket. But Trump's character is once again being called into question after secret recordings of his sister were made public. Jennifer Johnson explains. Protesters have taken to the streets of Charlotte, North Carolina ahead of the start of the Republican National Convention. Despite the COVID-19 pandemic, U.S. President Donald Trump is expected to thank delegates in person at the convention center Monday. So we're going to talk about the American story, about all the accomplishments that we've had over the last four years with President Trump and what the president's second term vision is going to look like. The GOP's big event to formally nominate the Trump-Pence ticket comes as the president's sister is making headlines. The Washington Post first reported that Mary Ann Trump Barry, a retired federal judge, was secretly recorded by the president's niece. On those recordings, Barry is heard saying her brother has no principles and can't be trusted. The change of stories, the lack of preparation, the lying, the holy But he's appealing to the base. Trump Barry has not commented on the recordings, but the White House chief of staff is defending the president. This is politics as usual by, by uh, uh, a niece that uh, was written out of a will that would apparently uh, just has a, an axe to grind. Meanwhile, the president is facing a new battle with Congress. In a rare weekend session, the House approved a bill giving the U.S. Postal Service $25 billion and banned the removal of mail collection boxes and sorting machines ahead of November's election. Postmaster General Louis DeJoy, a major Trump campaign donor, had ordered the removal of the equipment, then warned 46 states some votes for the election may not be counted in time. We will send it to the Senate. And uh, let me just say uh, that, uh, as I've always said, public sentiment is everything. They'll be hearing from their constituents because this hits home. Senate Republicans say they have no plans to act on the legislation, and President Trump has already threatened to veto it. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington.